How's it going? Instructor Mr. Gray here. I'm um, going to talk about XP001's new 1911 chambered in 9mm uh, built by Wild West Guns. At one point I shot a lot of rounds uh, out of a 1911 um, when I was in the military and so I've got a, a pretty good amount of experience with a 1911. I love it. It's, um, you know, it's you're talking about a gun that has over 100 years history and is still one of the most used firearms today um, in competition and in combat. So it is a classic design, it's a classic gun, and there are some tips that you can uh, incorporate into your shooting of one or your build of one that'll make, him, uh, make it better for you. One thing that I recommend, or two problems that I see with people who are inexperienced with 1911s um, that they have when they shoot them, is they have problems with the unintended engagement of one of two safeties. First one right here is you got the beaver tail safety Wasn't disengaged. Used. That means that if you're not pressing down on this, the gun won't fire, uh, which was a safety mechanism built in, you know, way back in the day. Nowadays, uh, I myself, as well as a lot of people, kind of see it as unnecessary. Um, so that's one. Also, you gotta understand that that is a safety, and if your gun's not shooting and the safety's off, then realize that the beaver tail safety is called a beaver tail safety because it's a safety, all right? Uh, number two is the actual safety on the gun, all right? So what can happen in firing is people who shoot, if they ride high on the gun, I'm trying to see the best way to see this, because uh, I can't point it the other way because of the range we're on. But people who are riding the gun can, as they're shooting, that can pop up and lock the gun down, all right? So a real common way for that we taught people to shoot is to ride on top of the safety, okay? If you have a problem with that, you basically have your grip on top of the safety, keeping it down. That keeps it from engaging up and locking up the slide. All right, so those are two things uh, that are pretty important on, um, on a 1911. One thing that I'm going to mention that's a great, uh, he doesn't have it yet on here, but one thing that is a great, great, great addition that's not very expensive. Again, you heard me talk what, almost a month ago now about, you know, save your money on all the cool tricks and invest in training. I still agree with that. However, one low-cost thing that you could do to a 1911 is add a magwell. All right, SNA Magwells, um, that's the one I had. It's relatively inexpensive, I think about 80 bucks, and um, it puts a Magwell at the bottom. Why is a Magwell important on a 1911? Well, if you look, that is a pretty narrow port to fit that magazine, okay? It's not easy to hit, it takes a lot of training. Conversely, if you look at a stock Glock with no, or really any M&P, um, XD, all of them now, pretty much all guns, especially that are polymer frames, have almost a built-in magwell, meaning the magwell is bigger than the mag. You can tell right here, really isn't the case because this gun was designed before that was common. So putting on an SNA, SNA magwell or similar is a great addition that you can put on in your 1911, makes it easier to jam the mags inside, as well as keep in mind too, these are metal with metal lips, and one mess up, you know, and that thing's not going in there. So those are some tips on, uh, on a 1911. Uh, I'm gonna shoot uh, this right now, but um, it's a great gun, classic design, and if you don't own one in your collection, you should. Go for it. Mr. Gray has nearly 10 years experience in U.S. Army Special Operations. He has served as a sniper with the 2nd Ranger Battalion and later as an assaulter and team breacher with a Tier 1 counterterrorism unit stationed at Fort Bragg. He has served in numerous direct action missions in multiple theaters during the Global War on Terror. Zert's mission is to support law-abiding citizens taking their skills to the next level. We provide training opportunities and a wealth of knowledge via Zert's global network of like-minded individuals. 
each ZERT member can take it as far as they wish to go. You can take part in ZERT training, ZERT online training, network with individuals in your area via the forums or private Facebook pages, attend meet and greets in your state or county, or have fun collecting the unique gear ZERT has to offer. We have members from all walks of life, and our emphasis is on creating a safe, fun, and mature community for all involved. When you think of ZERT, consider the term lifestyle. Lifestyle can denote the interests, opinions, behaviors, and behavioral orientations of an individual, group, or culture. By definition, ZERT is a lifestyle. ZERT's instructor cadre is made up of special forces instructors who use their vast knowledge and real-world experience to teach civilian members. ZERT's goal is to elevate the level of education and safety in the training industry. ZERT is not just an organization. It's a lifestyle. ZertNation.com